who does such a good job on that. That's uh, pharmacistben.com. And, of course, if you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear us talk about on the program, or if you want to join the Brightside Ben team, you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, or you can click on the Join the Team link up at brightsideben.com, the upper left-hand corner of the page at brightsideben.com for a one-time $10 fee. You can start yourself a longevity business, make some money selling longevity products, and enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own longevity business. Okay, so we're talking about nerve chemicals, chemicals that turn on nerve cells. There's lots of different ones. Uh, dopamine is a classic one. That's one that's associated with reward behavior. Drugs like sugar and cocaine sugar is a drug technically because it does activate these kinds of nerve chemicals or nerves in the brain. Sugar and cocaine activate dopamine neurotransmitters or dopamine, uh, dopamine nerves, I should say. And this accounts for the addictive qualities, gambling behavior, thrill-seeking behavior, bungee jumping. These all involve stimulating dopamine. There's another important nerve chemical called Endorphin, endorphins make us feel blissful and dreamy. The term ORF, O-R-P-H, comes from the name of the Greek god of dreams, Morpheus. Heroin and morphine and, and uh, opium products, sometimes pain pills, can mimic these endorphins and, again, have an addictive quality because they're similar to nerve chemicals. Morphine and opium and, and heroin and even cough syrup, uh, dextromethorphan, which is an active ingredient in cough suppressants, they can all activate these kinds of dreamy nerves, these endorphin nerves that usually respond to brain chemicals, natural brain chemicals that make us feel pain-free and peaceful. One of the most interesting and fascinating of these nerve cell activating chemicals are called cannabinoids. Cannabinoids are made in nerve cells in the brain and also by a certain plant that has gained notoriety and caused a lot of consternation over the last 80 or 90 years. These days, this plant called cannabis, which many people know as marijuana, and the cannabinoids that the plant make, which are essentially the same as these nerve chemicals that are made in our brain, these cannabinoids. These days, cannabis and cannabinoids are gaining some kind of credibility because, as it turns out, they're very helpful as analgesics, pain relievers, and as calming molecules. Cannabinoids have an inhibitory effect on nerve cells that are involved in pain, and they can work on stabilizing out-of-control electrical energy that's associated with seizures, seizures, epilepsy, and such. Amino acids can also work like these nerve chemicals. They're said to be neuroactive amino acids. Not, not all amino acids, but some amino acids can be neuroactive. They can activate nerve cells. There's one called glycine, which is really interesting. Glycine is a component of collagen. Glycine can help sm uh, soothe and heal your digestive tract. Glycine's got anti-aging properties. And glycine's got a calming effect on the brain. Glycine can be used as anti-seizure medicine or an anti-seizure amino acid. Glycine can help you sleep, all because glycine has this nerve-acting property or nerve-activating property that kind of calms nerves down. It's said to be an inhibitory neurotransmitter or neurotransmitter-like substance. GABA, many of you have heard of GABA. That acts the same way. Glutamate and aspartate can also uh, ring a, a nerve cell's doorbell. Glutamate and aspartate or amino acids, and they're similar to excitotoxins like MSG and aspartame. Again, these excitotoxins work by mimicking nerve chemicals. There's neuroactive chemicals that can help us or make us feel pain. There's others that can activate nerves that stimulate digestive secretions, and there's still others that can stimulate feelings of love and bonding and compassion, even insulin has a neuroactive effect in addition to acting like a more traditional non-nerve cell activating hormone. As many neurotransmitters as there are, and there are lots and lots of these substances, as many as there are, it's hard to believe we didn't even know they existed until 100 years ago. And as recently as 1986, that's when I graduated pharmacy school, they used to tell us, oh, there's only about six or seven of these substances. The first neurotransmitters were discovered at the turn of the 20th century. Before then, there was this big battle between neurologists and biochemists. At the time, neurologists represented the common wisdom that everything in the body was electrical, 
and then biochemists came along. And we were just starting to understand the chemistry of the body. This was really a revolutionary time period, the beginning of the a revolutionary scientific time period, the, the, uh, the uh, beginning of the 20th century, maybe 1900, maybe 1900 to 1930 or so, was a real revolutionary period in, in terms of science and chemistry and, and biology. Vitamins were being discovered around this time. Steroid hormones were discovered around this time. In any case, hypo- biochemists, uh, biochemists hypothesized that nerve cells were actually secreting chemicals to exert their effects. Neurologists said they were crazy. It was all electrical. This was called the War of the Sparks and the Soups. There's actually a book called The War of the Sparks and the Soups. And the War of the Sparks, uh, or the, the folks who said it was all sparks, they were the neurologists. And the folks who said it was about the soups, they were the biochemists. And sure enough, the upstart radical chemists were right. And right around 1920 or so, the first biochemical secretion from a nerve cell was discovered. And that was acetylcholine. Acetylcholine, the substance that is derived from DMAE, acetylcholine is a relaxing substance. It's said to be inhibitory. That makes it a key player in the relaxation component of nerve firing. The nervous system works by balancing surges of electrical energy with cessation of electrical energy, and you get this on-off pulsing effect. And adrenaline has a, a, a stimulating effect. It's an excitatory chemical. Acetylcholine opposes adrenaline. It's responsible for the calming effect that's associated with, the, with nerve cell firing. So nerve cells will fire. They'll either cause something to be inhibited or they'll cause something to be stimulated. Acetylcholine will cause substance or cause activities to be inhibited. It's a relaxing kind of substance. And adrenaline, on the other hand, will cause, uh, uh, will cause nerve cells to activate various parts of the body. Acetylcholine, that's kind of a simplistic way of looking at it, by the way, but generally speaking, that's the way it works. Nerve cells will fire, and if it's a, an acetylcholine kind of effect, it'll be relaxing. It'll relax muscles. If it's an adrenaline kind of effect, it'll stimulate things. It'll initiate contraction of muscles, as an example. Acetylcholine is really important in muscular movement, and many movement disorders and palsies and tics and, and uh, kind of uh, Parkinson's-like symptoms are connected to d- defects in acetylcholine chemistry. Myasthenia gravis is your classic acetylcholine-related diseases, and the medications that are used to treat these kind of diseases are medications that will raise acetylcholine levels by blocking the breakdown of it, by blocking enzymes that break it down. Parkinson's disease is a significant, has a, has a major acetylcholine component. Some researchers believe that Tourette syndrome may also have a relationship to acetylcholine processing. Nerve gas and pesticides both work by amping up acetylcholine's relaxing effects. World War I was the nerve gas war, and that was right around the time when acetylcholine was discovered, uh, sort of right around that time when we started to realize that there were these chemicals that could affect nerves, and of course the military got involved, and that's when nerve gas was invented. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Got lots more good health information coming at you right after this. Don't go away. So my elementary school-aged child is begging me for a cell phone. Please, Mom, please. All the kids have them. But I've seen the research, and it makes sense to me that any mobile device that operates using electromagnetic frequencies that close to me or my child's head needs to be blocked. Harmful wireless radiation is real. Protect yourself and your loved ones with Block It Pocket. Call 888-315-9618. Free shipping to the lower 48. BlockItPocket.com. Enhancing health and privacy. If you own a business, you need customers, right? Well, your potential customers are listening to this radio program right now, and I can help you reach them. Hi, I'm Matt Brower, a national marketing executive at the radio network responsible for this program. I can help you customize a national radio campaign that fits your budget, large or small, while targeting your specific audience. Call me to learn how radio advertising can make your business more profitable. 877-996-4327, extension 128. That's 877-996-4327, extension 128. We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document? Worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. 
With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average over 19 years of experience, Legal Shields law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855-340-SAVE. 855-340-7283. Results will vary from case to case. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for $33,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet for $33,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for 129000 You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Call 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. One in every 50 homes will have a break-in this year. Burglars call it smash and grab. Police call it robbery. We call it avoidable. We are Fake TV, a simple electronic device that can fool even professional burglars. Fake TV easily plugs into any outlet and simulates the changing colors of a television. To a burglar, it looks like someone must be home watching TV, so they'll likely move on to an easier target. At only $29.95, Fake TV costs less than a month of most alarm monitoring plans and comes with free shipping. Order your Fake TV by calling 877-5-FAKE-TV or go to faketv.com. That's 877-532-5388 or faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy bodies products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. Great minds think alike. The network for the independent-minded. The Genesis Communications Network. GC. From NutraIngredients.com, vitamin E, tocotrienol show brain health benefits. Daily supplements of a... Natural full spectrum tocotrienol complex may protect, protect against the progression of lesions in human brains. That's a new study from Malaysia and the UK. I'm telling you, folks, you couldn't pick a more important brain health supplement than vitamin E. And this stuff is not found in a lot of foods, and it's so, 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 so important when it comes to anti aging, anti cancer healing, post surgical healing, skin healing, skin health, sun protection. It's not found in foods, and you got to supplement. Just, this is just a classic example of a supplement or of a nutrient that you absolutely must supplement with. Vitamin E in either its tocopherol forms or tocopherol form or tocotrienol form, 400 international units a day. This stuff is crazy cheap. Even the, the deluxe form, the tocotrienols, are relatively cheap. And again, you're not going to find this stuff in, in food. If you want to get your vitamin E from food, and you're not going to get big doses, but uh, the best sources are going to be seeds and seed oils. 
especially wheat germ oil. Wheat germ oil and sunflower seed oil are two most important vitamin E food sources of vitamin E. But personally, I'm supplementing with this stuff. been supplementing with vitamin E for a long time. If you have to heal from something, especially skin healing, you might want to take 800 internationally. And today, this stuff's non-toxic, except for maybe a little... Uh, little loose stools or diarrhea if you take too much of it, but certainly 800 international units a day isn't too much. You could take 800 international units, 400 international units. I think the RDA is really teeny 